Uh, hello, scrappers. Another video. I got this old uh, lawn boy. That I'm going to tear, tear apart, scrap out. A lot of times these old things have uh, aluminum decks. But as you can see, the magnet sticks on this one. That's the 10 deck. I'm going to scrap it out. And then uh, probably scrap this one here out too. But uh, if it's a Briggs and Stratton, I'll probably try to hang on to a few parts off the mower. One, I'm going to try to hang on to that gas tank. Because over here, I have a Murray with a six horse. And as you can see, They tried sealing that up, so apparently the gas tank leaked. That's what the guy told me. He said, uh, it runs, but the gas tank leaks. That's a big wheel mower. And then I got a little Craftsman here. Pretty sure that's a Black & Decker motor. I haven't really looked at it closely. Yeah, looking at this side, I'd say Black & Decker. Or not Black & Decker, but Briggs & Stratton. It even says so right on the top. And then last but not least, I've got this little John Deere. I'm going to try to pull the carburetor off of it, get it cleaned up, flush the tank out, check the air filter, and uh, See what all that tells me and then uh, it is electric start of course the battery I'm sure is no good so I'll have to get into that part of the mechanism and to imagine it looks like the battery is probably yeah no, not there I'll have to figure out where the battery is on this thing and then uh, once I get through the carburetor and everything, try to jump it off. But I thought I'd show you what I'm going to try to work on today. It's uh, 20 to 1 in the afternoon. Beautiful Monday morning here in Oklahoma, March 30th. You can hear the rain hitting the roof. Yeah, they said they're st going to get in here about, about 1, so they're pretty close. See, I'm still getting some smoke off that hot coals out there or I was burning brush yesterday and then I still got that rider there tires are all holding air but uh, back ones are pretty weather cracked I may try to pull the front ones off and hang on to them and I got a pile of old lawnmower tires back there so I'll try to find a couple I can throw on the front and throw it in my shred pile but basically on that I'll take the deck off try to get the uh, get the blades off for short iron probably get the bearing housings off the bearings are easy to knock out of that and then you got clean aluminum cast aluminum Just pull the wire out once that wire is out of there that's about all that's left of it so I may get into that tomorrow I either have to hoist it up with the cherry picker or maybe bring the tractor over and try to hoist it. So I'm going to get off of here and get set up and get started tearing these mowers down. I guess I could uh, just set this up on the tripod and uh, so I'll shut it off for now as I get everything set up and I'll get ready to start tearing into that. <laughs> Yeah, we'll go ahead and get started on this. Right here, looks like I got one screw right here. Take the stop off. Been in there watching scrapping videos this morning. Something to do. Pass the time. built-in gas tank into the top. Feels kind of heavy, don't know if there's anything in there. Okay. 
which doesn't allow the screw that came with the unit. <coughs> I don't know if there's really much on this thing that's worth salvaging. <coughs> not sure I can sell right off. A couple of leaks in the roof over here. I'm gonna have to check out. Try to get up and get them dry up. Yeah, I'm wondering if it was solid tires. I'm kind of wondering if those won't work on my furniture dolly. Or my fine solid. Came in at that. I'd replace a bearing on that all at once quite a bit. I don't know if this would handle the weight anyway, it's not really what it's made for. But right now the plastic's breaking out around it. It probably wouldn't, wouldn't last. I really thought that was the size of it. It is a 13 16 Kind of sloppy. I'm gonna try a three quarter. Uh, yeah, that works. I'll buzz them off just in case I can get them. Probably not, but that one there's that one they're kind of split anyway. Engines. 
because it's real easy to just take a punch and knock the uh, spaces out and the magnet comes right out. Uh, I don't see any magnets around here for many of those, but uh, they are pretty, pretty simple. We do have a couple wires right here. Probably kill switch wires. Spark plug wire. Up later, but I'll do that off, off video. Okay, 
glad to see the rain. Well, let's try this one and see if it comes off. If I have to... Pause the video for a moment here while I put this out of here and set the other one up. Be right back. Hey, crappers, I'm back. This old uh, strap here ready to strip it down. Got five sixteenths here. It's probably one of the main sizes we need on this. That filter is pretty nasty. That could be the problem with the whole thing. Sometimes I'll save these covers. Sometimes not. Probably doesn't hurt to have a two or three of them hanging around. I usually have three screws here holding the back of it on. If you're going to save the covers, might as well save the whole, the whole unit. And, uh, honestly, what I would do if you're New to scrap, new to scrapping, and when you get a few of these, get a bucket. And uh, that one only has two on it. That has only two holes. A lot of times there'll be a third hole up here. But uh, that primer ball is very, very hard. <laughs> but what I would do, I'll take a bucket and hang on to these screws and stuff. They do come in handy if you're trying to. Get one running. This craftsman over here, I mean, that thing looks so nice. <coughs> Probably uh, kept in the garage or shed. These bolts here a lot of times. A little bit different. Get my hand up here, you can see that it's got the threaded part, then it's got the other part that's not threaded, so it's kind of a special, special little bolt. So, I 
doesn't hurt to try to hang on to a few of those. Twisted it around the end of the line, didn't have the clamp. So, some things people do. Okay. I've got a small bucket of carpet that goes around. Sometimes it's good to keep your recoil. I'm not pulling right now, it's locked, the motor locked up. But you want to keep that, it's in good shape. All you got to do is roll out the rivets. Roll the rivets out and it'll come right off of there. The thing does still have oil in it. So I'll have to be careful when I'm flipping it over. Uh, I think in my next stage, I want to get this handle out of the way. Cut the cable. 
get the handle off of here, and then uh, I'll go ahead and try to get underneath this thing and drain the oil. And then I'll be right back. That way I'm going to sit there and watch all this. Um, that's what I'm going to do, get the handle off and get underneath and drain the oil. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. i got a little mist coming in this doorway over here. Well, I got the handlebars off, got the oil drained. I'm going to pull the shroud off. Sometimes you sit long enough, these bolts will just twist off. I'm loosened up pretty good. Two on the back and three eighths. And nice flash of thunder here. This thing here, you can save it or save it or toss it. It's plastic. I might keep one on hand, maybe two. Any more probably than necessary. That's if you're going to be trying to work on these like I'm doing. And that comes off. Yeah, see that? That's in there. Just run that close this off and take that off. But you got a magnet in there, and that's. Really about impossible to get out of there. Now this thing's locked up, so it's just going to go in the pin pile. Can or shred. Sometimes these coil packs have a nice wash nest in there. Sometimes the coil pack is not good to hang on to. Those are held in by quarter inch. Pull that off and get that out of the way. Yeah, what do I got to take off of that? Looks like three eggs. Wire. 
way the kill wire sends the sparks straight to the ground and so on the wire. Okay. And this video is getting long. thing I always try to do, yeah you can see it on camera, going ahead. Might buzz these bolts off of here.
liking the videos, liking what you're seeing. If you like the videos, liking what you're seeing, please subscribe. Uh, try to get at least, try to get two videos out every week. Right now, there's a coronavirus thing going on. I'm staying home, so uh, may get more out, or may just get some get some made, and get them backed up. That way, when I get busy, I can just upload them. But I try to keep keep them pretty, you know, recent. That way, if I'm talking about something, it's not something you know, it's not history. It's something that's going on currently. So that's the two main ones I had to scrap out. I got more down the field. So I'll give a quick check on that. And uh, oh yeah, one other thing I wanted to show you. What is that? For those that don't know, I had a guy at work that was talking to him about uh, scrapping some of these mowers and stuff out. And he's yeah, I was talking to him about draining the oil out. And I was telling him there's a little plug underneath. And basically, your 3 8 drive will plug right into that. You just bring that out. So elevate, elevate the mower where you can get up under there. Pull that out and have you know, get, get an oil pan under it and it will drain right out. And he says, you're kidding me. He said he's been draining it out the fill tube. You know, tipping around the side and draining out the fill tube all this time. So, just that's something to remember. So, if you liked it, please subscribe, share it with your friends, hit the notification bell if you want to see more, and hit the like button. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, and everybody stay safe. Bye-bye.